What's up guys, Viper here and welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at my 41212 narrow custom tactics. Um, the team is exactly the same as you've seen before. Just to go through it real quick, we've got Allison, Rule Breaker, Quadrado, we've got Gomez, Varane, Mendy, Blanc, Rashford, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Kylian Mbappe, Neymar and Bruno Fernandes. Uh, you've seen this team before from me. I just like it so much that there's nothing to really change yet. I'm waiting until team of the year to really get my upgrades in. Um, but the 41212, let's get into it. It's a brilliant formation, man. It's balanced, um, six depth and four width. But one thing I do want to quickly say before we get on to why the depth is high is press after possession loss is something I use a little bit on this formation. I don't start off with it, but I sometimes pause it mid game and switch into this. It's kind of like an alternative to the team press. Um, obviously it's not as aggressive but in certain scenarios it is as aggressive um, I know Stokes uses this he gets a lot of success with it um, so try that if you want you can try it for a minute one I don't think your stamina gets destroyed that much um, so you can use it for 90 minutes but the reason we're on such high depth here is because the 41212 to me it's an aggressive get a goal quickly sort of formation um, so if I'm not having a lot of success in the 442 or 4231 I'll switch into this um, just to get a goal quickly. You know, even if it's nil-nil, I'll still switch into this. Um, sometimes I'll switch into it when I'm a goal down. I just want something a bit different um, to get me back into the game. So that is why the depth is high. The width is on one. The reason for this, 4-1-2-1-2 narrow is narrow anyway. It's in the name. There's no need to have it high. You don't want to allow yourself to get pushed through the middle anymore. Um, obviously, you're going to get a hit down the wings a little bit, but you can still protect yourself quite well with good fullbacks and good outside midfielders, you know. So, um, the outside midfielders in this are Bruno and Rashford. Um, I'll get into why Rashford's the centre mid in a minute. But yeah, it's one width for that reason, just because we're trying to play through the middle, aggressively through the middle as well, quick passes, quick interplay. You know how it is. Four players in the box, nothing much to really say there. All depends on your personal preference, really. Corners, free kicks is two. Um, it's always been two for me, um, so that's why that's on that. But now let's get into the instructions. And this is where it gets quite interesting. So, get in behind on Ronaldo, um, stay forward on Ronaldo, get in behind on Killian, stay forward on Killian, stay forward on Neymar. The reason for this is we want them high up the pitch already because we're going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of transitions in this formation. Um, and when we get the ball over in transition, we want to be drilling it up to these forwards, you know. We want them to be on the ball as quickly as possible, preferably Neymar. And we can have Mbappe and Ronaldo running already, um, getting on the, the last line of the defenders um, to where we can play essentially that killer pass straight away. That is why these are all on this. Uh, it's very important to have them on this, in my opinion. If you don't have stay forward on the cam, he drops very deep and quite like wide. He like tries to cover the, um, like the Ram and Lamb if you're playing or le left mid and right mid. It's really weird and quite frustrating. Um, so that's why you need to have him on stay forward more than these two. Um, but I would recommend having them two on stay forward as well. Moving on to the centre mids. We have Bruno, which is the... He's, he's still good going forward, but he is the, the more defensive option out of the two we have at central midfield. He's on balance and cover centre. That's because we want him to support Blanc, Blanc a little bit, but not too much. Or this, this formation would literally just switch into... Um, a variation of the 4 2 3 1, you see. So that's why we need to have him on balance and cover centre. He still does support quite well um, in both instances of the defending and the attacking. Um, and Rashford is on get forward and cover centre. Now, Rashford is actually really good in this formation. So don't underestimate this. He can still get back really well. He can still push forward really well. He is just pace, essentially, when defending here. Um, his passing is still all right. You know, you're kind of using him as like a, a quick player to get the ball back and then just push through, kind of. Um, a lot of people do this. Obviously, because my main formations are the 4 2 3 1 and 4 4 2, I need four attackers. Um, so Rashford kind of has to get sacrificed. But don't don't underestimate him at all. He is good there and you can get away with it. Just make sure your second centre mid has a lot of pace. Moving on to Blanc, stay back and cover centre. No cut passing lanes here because we don't want him, you know, cutting a, a lane off because he is the only CDM. We need him zonally marking like three players essentially. Um, so that is why he's not on cut passing lanes here. He is still very good. He still does the job. Uh, just make sure you have a very solid CDM 
for this formation. Moving on to the fullbacks now. And this is where it does get really interesting. Obviously, we need some form of width in this formation. We get that with the fullbacks. Mendy and Quadrado are argu arguably the two best fullbacks on the game. Um, so we've both got them on balance and overlap. This is to create some form of width. Obviously, if you lose the ball in this formation, you're in a bit of trouble. Um, but I trust myself to not lose the ball. Um, hopefully, you guys trust yourself to not lose the ball. Uh, because if you do, you will get hit on the break very, very hard. Um, so you just have to trust yourself in this formation quite a lot. Um, so make sure you do have that trust there before you commit to a formation like this. Um, I th even think if you're playing a bit more defensively with it, let's say you drop the depth down, you put the whip up a little bit more, and you put stay back on the fullbacks, it is still quite a dangerous formation. Um, and you have to be very careful with it. But with that being said, lads, I reckon we get into a game now and see how we perform. 400 skill rating, by the way. Uh, he's got Dembele, Kante, Salah, Yedda, Pogba, Red Werner. This is a good team, man. Let's get into the game. Play no. Neymar. Nice. I see Bruno. Going into Mbappe. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. What a goal, man. That's why Ronaldo is so good, dude. That physicality he has to do the scoop turn and beat players is unbelievable. Good play. Good football. See the overlap from Quadrado. We're going to bait that. I'm going to go on the inside to, with Rashford into Mbappe. Mbappe to Ronaldo. And that's two. Just like that, boys. Look at that. Incredible goal, man. I told you Rashford's passing was not that bad. Let's go, man. A bit dangerous now for him. We might get a rage quit early on here, lads. Neymar. Cancel Cricket out. Oh, good save. Gomez is there. Oh, what a header that is. I was not expecting that at all. What a goal. Bruno's having to cover for Blanc here. Oh, wow. Cadrado stepped up very nicely. Wow. Bruno. Easy pass for Bruno. 4 0. Just like that, boys. Bruno into Ronaldo. Brilliant goal. Brilliant goal. Bridge. Oh, my God. It's going to get disgusting. Ronaldo again. 5-0 in 38 minutes in Division 1. Wow. Well in from Gomez. Long. Oh, my God. We are attacking so well here. Hold on. Oh, Killian. Oh, my God. This could be a beautiful goal. Yo, what a goal that is. He should be gone now, boys. He's not leaving. Okay. He's just made subs. All right, all right. It's 6-0. Absolutely dominated this game, man. The 4-1-2-1-2 is so good. Uh, what formation is here out of interest? 4-4-2. There you go, boys. Let's get into the second. The inside there. Neymar. Marcus. That should be a goal. And it is 7-0, boys. Are we going to try this? Are we going to try it? We are going to try it. And it's in. Boys, if you've watched the shooting tutorial, you'll know that Bruno is absolutely unbelievable. I'll link it in the description. Unbelievable from Bruno. Good stuff from Ronaldo. We're actually going to try and send Mendy here. I don't know if we'll be able to... Oh, hold on. I see Ronaldo, actually. I don't know. Oh, Ronaldo stops his run, but then he's got in anyway. Ronaldo. Take McGiddy spin. Oh, my God. We are taking the P. My God. We're going to try and make this 10, I think. We're going to try and make it 10. Hold on. Ronaldo's there. Oh, Ronaldo. Cristiano. Goal. There we go. 10-0, boys. This is a 2,400 skill rating, man. This is insane. Now we go again on another break. Another break. Ronaldo. He's in, one-on-one. On one. We're going to try roll him. We bottled it so hard. Neymar. Oh, it's beautiful from Neymar. Ronaldo's in. Beautiful pass, beautiful goal. 11-0. <laughs> that's going to be it, lads. That's going to be it. So that's ended 11-0 with the 4 one 2 2 narrow. Some really good goals in there as well, actually. Um, but I'm actually just going to back out here now so you can actually see the skill rating. Um, so if we go all the way out, <clears throat> just bear with me a sec here, lads. So he was at 1940 skill rating. 
I'm currently at 2386. Um, just you know, I'm not I'm not doing anything silly or anything not legitimate. Uh, but yeah, boys, that's going to be it from me. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you like the video and you subscribe to the channel for more custom tactics and tutorials coming soon. Take care.